Hey everybody, it's Friday, January 5th, 5 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Let's talk about the Pacific Northwest, the state of Washington to be exact. Found a rare observation up here near Seattle, but first I want to talk about the ground movement that's being detected by a seismograph in Hanford, Washington. I think it may be picking up energy from a landslide in Yakima County. It's less than 50 miles away. Here, I'll show you real quick. It's pretty close, so I think that's why the seismograph is a little bit loco. You can see it's 46 miles. I'll show you the seismograph now. Seismograph here, there's a landslide underway right there. I think that's what's causing this um, disruptive pattern. Normally, these are smooth unless there's an earthquake. When there's a non-earthquake event and we see things like this on these graphs, there's something up. Typically, we don't know what's up. We, we see these quite often at different places around the world, and there's no earthquake underway. So we're assuming it's ground movement, but we just don't know where. I think in this case, it's pretty obvious that it's from an ongoing landslide that's moving at the rate of about 2.5 inches per day. It's this west side of uh, the western side of this slope. It's getting ready to break loose, and it's going to move a million cubic yards, I think the article says. One million cubic yards, and it could go any day. It's been moving, I guess, since October of 2017, and they're not quite sure exactly what has caused this to break free. But here's a, a picture of it up close. And you can see this fissure goes all the way down the entire slope, well, the majority of this slope, and it's going to come down. It's just a matter of when. So is the seismograph picking up movement from the landslide? Probably so. That's probably what's causing the majority of that, I would say, is by deductive reasoning. Or is it picking up energy from the quake swarm that is north and to the east of Mount St. Helens? Let's look and see how far that is. I think all of this is pretty much within 120 miles of each other. So it could be a combination of the landslide Probably primary landslide, secondary energy is probably from the quake swarm, because I think there was a 3.9. Let's stretch it out and see to Hanford, 124 mile, so that's definitely within range, especially the 3.9. So a lot of activity here right now, and don't know what's causing the landslide. Um, there is a video on watchers.news that um, they do interview a local man that says they don't know what's causing it. But he is 100% certain that it is going to come down any day. So a lot of activity in the Pacific Northwest, and as of right now, uh, we don't know. I think that's what's causing that to act up. Um, one other thing I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, I showed you the quake swarm. There was a 3.9, followed by multiple swarms of little aftershocks. And here it is right here, 88 quakes in the last seven days. That just updated when I first went here, it was 90. Here's Mount St. Helens. Here's the quake swarm over here and some random quakes over here by the volcano itself. But this is the swarm. So not far from the seismograph. So it could be detecting some of that energy. Um, one final thing I wanted to share with you on Google Earth. I found this completely by accident. It's just up here south and to the east of Seattle. Um, has nothing to do with ground movements. It's an odd plane that was picked up by Google Earth whenever they updated their images here. And it looks like, honestly, it looks like a NASA spy plane. Let's see if I can get a decent angle on this thing. Whoops. Okay, the, the only reason I say that is because the nose is a little extended. And these things on the wings, those are not motors or engines. Those are some sort of long tubular objects. And the only plane that I can recall, me personally, I'm sure there's plane experts out there that can identify that immediately, is this here. And it, that's the, the, the U-2. It's the NASA spy plane. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a one in a million shot right there to capture a, a spy plane as you're updating your Google Maps. But... Uh, looking at this image here, a U-2 spy plane, those tubular things on the wings do match up with whatever this image took right here. Those are tubular objects on the wings, and it's kind of got an extended nose. So 
Could be. I don't know. It's just kind of odd to see airplanes on here. I, I think I've only seen one other one in all the years that I've used Google Earth. And there's number two for me. But anyway, a lot of movement in the Pacific Northwest. Quake swarms. Landslide that could go any day, possibly moving up to um, a million uh, cubic yards of rock and earth coming down this slope. And there is a river down here and I think three roads three main roads that could potentially be shut down. They've already advised, I think there's 50 people that live in the community down below this slope that uh, they should either evacuate now or be ready to evacuate at a moment's notice that rocks are starting to fall. So kind of a big deal. And a local man was interviewed, I think in this video here, talking about the huge crack that opened up. And they don't know exactly what caused it. They, at this point in time, have no idea and may never know. So we've got swarms, landslides, and um, a lot going on in the Pacific uh, Northwest right now. So we're keeping a close eye on that. We're going to start our journey on January 8th, those of you that are interested. I'm going to be posting a video tomorrow for our instructions um, and how we're going to approach this starting on Monday, January 8th. Those instructions will be here at Patreon. Um, and I'll post the link to Patreon in the description box below. And if you can swing a dollar a month and you like my videos, you would be doing me a tremendous uh, service. I would greatly appreciate that. And and join our, our venture that we're going to start, if you need to, on January 8th. I know I do. Um, I just, I've told you before, I've, I've picked up some extra weight and I I'm determined to to uh, remove this extra weight. I'm not overweight, but it's too much for me. So I'm going to start on Monday, and we're going to do it. There, there's Failure's not an option. We're going to do it. If we're going to take the time to do it, we're going to do it right. And there's several of you that are going to join in and do this with me. We're going to do it together. So if you would like to, to join our, um, I don't know, we're going to improve, become better versions of ourselves this year. At least I am. I'm determined to do it, and I'm going to do it in less than two months. And then once we get there, I'm going to show you how to maintain it. And you guys will, um, I think you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be very satisfied with the results. In fact, I know you will. So, Patreon is in the description box below. We start our venture on January the 8th. I'll give instructions tomorrow. I was going to do it on Sunday, but I'm going to do it on Saturday instead. That gives you an extra day to kind of prepare. And there's really nothing that you have to do except be disciplined, and I'll show you how we're going to approach that. And it's not hard. You can do it. I have 100% faith in you. Thanks for watching, guys. Big heads up in the Pacific Northwest. A lot of movement going on right now. Thanks for watching, and be safe out there.